Well, basically, I came into foster care at the age of 10. Um, my experiences in foster care were really positive. My relationship with my foster siblings and my um, biological siblings, it's different, but it's a good different. Um, my older sister, we talk every day. My foster sister, um, the middle one, um, we talk every day. And so it's, it's really, even though it's a different relationship that we have, it's, it's very positive on both ends. I mean, as a child, I was really embarrassed because I didn't have parents and I would look at my friends and they would say stuff like, my mom made me so mad today or my dad gets on my nerves and I would just kind of silently think to myself, at least you have someone to call mom and dad, you know. I came to realize later that even though I didn't have someone to call mom or someone to call dad, that, you know, my foster parents were my parents and that they cared about me just as much as any other mom or any dad. And I think that meant a lot to me as a, as a young child growing up. I came into care because of neglect. A lot of times my, my older sister would be the one at 12, 11, 10 years old to go to a neighbor's house and say, hey, can we borrow $10 because we have no food. A lot of times we would miss school when I was with my mom and um, my sister was the one to stay home with the baby or I would, because my little sister was way younger, or I would stay home with her and it's kind of like we would rotate, but that, whole atmosphere of complete freedom where we're the parents was completely different when we came to my foster my foster parents house because they had these rules in place and we, when we would get in trouble or something there would be a punishment what is punishment <laughs> and then the another thing that was really different was the way that they ate my sister and I were little butter balls when we came into foster care. We ate potato chips, cheeseburgers, junk all the time. But when we came into foster care, they actually ate on a schedule and they actually fed us food with vegetables. And so all those changes at once, since love was the priority there and since caring for us, giving us a stable home was the priority, it, it made us really mesh with their family and make a decision to obey these rules because we know that they're good for us since these people love us and these people are going to be our parents these rules must be you know good or to our benefit and so i feel like in the in the long run when we realized that this was family and that that was for protection it it worked out they're really involved in our life it's not like we have our foster kids and we have our real kids and for our real kids we're going to support them. For our foster kids, we're going to let them feel like foster kids. It's not that at all. When I hear my foster dad say, this is my daughter, or um, I know the other day uh, when I was on the bus, he was like, are they driving away with my child on the bus? Like just, just knowing that somebody is, and he's calling me his child, that he's, he's speaking these things over me. It's, 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 it's immeasurable. I can't, even, I can't even say how much it means to me as someone who grew up in foster care. And I'm sure that a young person hearing positive words, especially if they come for a, from a home where all their life they've been hearing, you're stupid, you're never going to be nothing, you're, you're dumb, you're, 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 you're a mistake, you're going to fail. Like if you're hearing that all your life and then you come into a home where, where you're only speaking life, that could change a child right, right there. And I would, just, I would just definitely encourage foster parents to never forget that. A lot of people won't say this, but I'm grateful for my foster care experience. I really am because it's definitely developed me and definitely molded me into the person that I am today. I just think about how much we could really do if we as a community decided that this is a problem and that I'm gonna do something about it. The amount of impact we can make on one person's life. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing 20 years from now, but I do know that I'm gonna be following Christ and I'm going to be doing what he tells me to do. And I know that that's, that's enough for me.